Miriam. Shifty, hello. Hello. So, pack my hospital bag with me. Let's just jump into it because I don't have time. You know, this baby, this baby could pop any minute. Although, by the time you're actually seeing this, the baby will already be here. But anyway, let's go on. So, first thing I always do. When I say always do, this is my third baby, okay? For those who don't know, this is my third baby. So when I say always do, it's like, I'm a seasoned mummy. <laughs> okay, anyway, so first thing I always do when I want to pack my bag, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm staying overnight somewhere, I always start with my toiletries for some reason. And well, these toiletries are already packed. So I have a face panel, spare toothbrush, a scrub glove, exfoliating glove, um, I've got deodorant, I've got body mist, I've got body mist, by the way this is not sponsored, these products are just products that I like and I picked myself, um, body butter, because I can't take my own body butter, I make my own body butter for myself, so, but it's a giant jar, I can't take the entire jar, so I just bought a little body butter from someone else, from the store, <sighs> from someone else, uh, toothpaste, and bath shower shower something oh god oh there's the small travel size thingy that someone got me a while ago that i said i was going to put in here so yeah so i've got this ebony london honey and mango bath and this ignore my nails please i'm gonna get it done before i have my baby but don't look at it <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna put the bath and shower one in here and i'm due to fix this hair before the baby comes so i'll probably use this sometime i keep it aside so right toiletry bag packed yay right now Going home clothes for myself. Oh, this is just my own. This is just my own bag I'm packing. Things that I pack for myself. I have a separate bag for the baby, which is already packed. But I can't be asked to go through the trouble of opening it up again. So that was already packed, settled, and um, yeah. So. This sets I make myself. If you want to purchase them, there will be a link somewhere. And then I've got clothes, spare clothes that I can wear in a hospital. It's like a nightgown kind of clothes. They're old, ratty. They don't need a mention, to be honest. And then I've got maternity bras. They can have like three. Don't know how long I'm gonna spend in the hospital. I'm having a uh, a scheduled C-section, um, but depending on if the baby is latching on well to breastfeed, because I do plan to breastfeed. Formula milk is expensive right now, so if I can if I can feed my baby milk that I produce myself, I will. And so next up, we've got some pads. Oh, thick as pads, um, always, uh, they're always pads, so they're these, always discreet pads, they're, they're, they're quite thick, these ones are six, uh, ultimate draw, so that's what I use, I've got some in there, and of course, you know, the ones they give you in the hospital are just so much better, I plan to, you know, see if I can take some of those, um, have those, and then I have some incontinent pads, uh, like panties. These are diapers for adults. So I got some of those um, because why you wear underwear? Where you wear underwear to where you're bleeding, like, you know, all the blood in your body is coming out. At least that's how I bleed. <laughs> for the past two months, that's how I bled, like, my body is just shedding every ounce of blood that I have. So, got these, which I will be wearing rather than wearing pants or anything like that. Because your pants won't fit anyway. And then, uh, 
I've got this mesh on this oh no this one is ripped it has a hole in it so I'm gonna have to chuck that away um yeah so I got this mesh from my two previous um childbirths so these are the ones I came home in I was you know able to wash them and keep them you know that this one had a hole in it so <sighs> so that one's going away and I'll keep this one and I'll, keep it. And I will also get one for the hospital again so and then breast pads because whether I actually breastfeed or not milk is still gonna be leaking or I forgot the name of the the early stage milk that is actually made but anyway yeah so some of these packed right in and sweeties because well I'm a sweet tooth and mama needs some sugar for that time. okay so we've got these some of the things that will go in here which well, aren't in here which i wouldn't bother putting in here right now are like phone charger a book to read um my bible maybe <laughs> i do have my bible on my phone so i'm not sure if i would bother taking the physical one um but yeah like phone charger and um a book to read i will have those so those will go in last minute to be honest um it would be literally the last thing that i tell my husband to grab for me so yeah this is my bag as in my personal bag not the baby's bag there's a different bag for the baby so we're taking two bags um but yeah let me know what you put in your hospital bag for yourself and if you put the same things as me or if you put something different that i've missed out i'm basically just putting the essentials because the hospital pretty much provides you with a lot of things and um yeah Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.